and welcome to another episode of Dr. Me First. It's me, Dr. Freaking Aaron Wiseman, your colleague in medicine and coach in life. And I am here to help every single one of you who's out there listening, who has ever felt broken, who's ever felt desperate, who's ever felt so crispy with burnout, you just wanted to run away from it all. I'm here for you. Because let me tell you, that's the place that I was in like six years ago. And girl, the grass is so much greener on the other side. So today's a solo cast with me. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Happy Mommy. It's really been on my mind. And a few other little, you know, rants. Got to put those in there every now and again. So hang with me, get some encouragement today, and sit back and laugh a little bit. Here we go. All right, solo cast time. Happy doesn't mean perfect. It means joyful, right? Somewhere in my head, I get that screwed up a lot, but I'm working on it. You know, work in progress, but also a masterpiece kind of thing. I've been writing a lot about defining my own motherhood, what that looked like before, and what that looks like now to me being a happy mommy. A huge part of that has been learning what happiness is not unreachable expectations, money for money's sake, and an unfulfilling career just to fall into a category. And lately, I've been reflecting on what happiness actually is, too. The best thing that I've come up with is that being happy means joyful to me. And I even mention that whenever I'm talking to people, that I help professional women, particularly female physicians, find a life that they love and have a practice that is joyful and sustainable. And I know, I know these words sound like a synonym and they all sound like happy and fluffy, but seriously, hear me out on this. It's real. Joy can look messy, like licking brownie batter off the wooden spoon. Yes, we do that at my house. It can look ridiculous. Like when my kids ask me to dress up like Minecraft and you better believe I go full out with the Amazon boxes. And it can look boring, so boring, like making the mundane commute to the hospital. Those moments might not look like anything special from the outside, but the feeling of peace, comfort, and alignment that they hold make them so worthwhile and so full of joy. Now, my family's not the Pinterest family. If you follow me for half a second on Instagram, you see the crazy shit that goes down with Team Wiseman. There's days I don't shower, days we watch way too much TV, there's days that I just give up and let them do what they want to do, like the day I found glue all over the dining room table. There's days that my sweet, sweet, lovely children are like little demons in the grocery store. I mean, seriously, did you see my latest article that I posted on Authentic Medicine talking about how I almost got kicked out of Dollar General? For reals. And people may look at these days and claim, man, like those are hard days. Maybe not the happiness. But because I've experienced so much joy in the middle of them, I can take those days as they come and develop. And I've developed a crazy level of patience, both for myself and for my loved ones through this whole process. And the only reason I can say all of this with any amount of confidence is because My home life did not look that much different than it is now when I was super unhappy. I mean, I still played with my kids and my house still got messy. But what was the difference was the internal. I felt like a robot when I was doing them. Instead of thinking, hell yes, I can do this for the next 30 years of my life. I was desperately trying to distract myself from my own misery. So my MO as a mom, and really as a human being, has nothing to do now with picture-worthy outfits or spotless kitchens or color-coordinated down to the fabric of the carpet bedrooms. My kids aren't perfect, and I'll be damned if I expect them to be. I have tried the perfectionist thing, and it has brought me to the cliff of burnout. And so now it has nothing to do with that. Being a happy mommy doesn't mean getting it right or living an Instagrammable life by any means. All it means 
is looking around at what I've got, challenges and all, and saying, yep, this is good, and I want this. That's true joy for me. And I hope that that's what you're finding in your life. And I hope that you know you can have that in your life. And if you're struggling, hey, listen to the next couple minutes because I'm going to give you six mantras to being a happy mommy. But even more so, reach out to me. I promise it's there just waiting for you to claim it. And maybe you just need a little bit of help from seeing it in another point of view. So click on the show notes. Click on the link to schedule a call with me. If you don't find anything that works in your calendar, email me. I'm a real person. I promise I'll email you straight back whenever I can. And let's set up a time. Let's talk. No more just surviving, friend. I want to bring you to thriving. Okay, so let me share my six mantras for being a happy mommy. They're kind of fun. They're a little ranty. They've all helped me. All right, here we go. Number one, I have permission to change. I have permission to change. I choose this path. More than that, I invested everything I had in it. Thousands of dollars, years of my lives, countless missed holiday parties, But no matter how much I wanted this before, if it's not working, I have the the desire and I can make the decision. It is mine. I choose to keep going on this path or I can choose to forge a new one. I have permission to change. Two, I love and accept myself in this moment. I love and accept myself in this moment. There's a sneaky thought in every perfectionist's brain that says we don't deserve love unless we're adhering to a strict set of rules and a standard of success. But guess what? I can love and accept myself in this moment as I am, who I am, doing what I am, where I am. Number three, I deeply and completely honor my feelings. I deeply and completely honor my feelings. When I can't get to a place on loving and accepting myself, I can at least honor how I am feeling. Not shoving it in a closet and throwing away the key on the emotions, but instead saying, hey, I see you. I know you are there and you're trying to teach me something and not make me feel like I'm dying. I know you're there to help. So what is it? And hey, thanks. I love you and nice butt. I can deeply completely honor my feelings. Four, short and sweet, money is nice, but the goal here is joy. Remember, the goal really is joy. Number five, I release the woman I once was. I let go of the perceptions that she once had, and I'm allowed to choose that chapter of my life. Yeah, a long one, but let me read it again. I release the woman I once was. I let go of the perceptions that she once had. I'm allowed to close that chapter of my life. It's okay to move on. Really, let that shit go and let it reside in the past. I am here now in this moment and I, I am not who I once was. I am stopping ruminating and fixating on how my thoughts are on this moment. We're supposed to be different. How life was supposed to feel different and look different and work differently. I can work on the woman who I am today and who I am becoming. And it's going to be different than what I envisioned a year from now and a decade from now. So I'm letting loose of the anchors of the past that have been dragging me down. And I am keeping on working on my greatness forward. I am releasing the woman I once was. And number six. Even though changing my situation seems like it will be tough, I can do hard things. Mm, I can do hard things. I can do hard forking things. I changed it for y'all. I have done hard things. And until I no longer have breath in my lungs and my heart is beating, I will continue to do hard things. I hope these little mantras help inspire you a little bit. I'll throw them in the show notes. So if you want to print them off and tape them up somewhere, 
And I just want to remind you, if you need space or you need help getting to a place of hell fucking yes, let's talk. It's totally not pressured. It's just a conversation. And if you're interested in doing further work, think about maybe jumping into some of the offers that I have right now. So I'll be starting a new mastermind in July. I do have the Patreon group going. So if you want a low overhead commitment, I guess you can say you can jump on there and have fun. And again, there's always that one-on-one conversation with me. It'll be a blast. I promise. All right. Well, here's to moving forward. Here's to being better on the other side. And remember, your life, your calling, your pulse matters.